If you're in a rush and you get up and you want to use a moisturizer and you're, you're like this, right? So you're a little bit kind of greasy, supposedly. That's, I guess it's a word to use. I learned this wonderful trick from Wayne Goss, which you guys may or may not know. He's a famous celebrity makeup artist. That when you apply your moisturizer before foundation, you can actually use a translucent, translucent setting um, powder to set your powder or set your um, moisturizer in your skin. Um, and what it will actually do is kind of form this barrier between your skin and the found all the makeup you're about to wear. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how, and I've been doing it and it really works well. And I think it's great for people who um, just feel uncomfortable applying makeup over something like this. Uh, but what's so important about having, like, it's so important to have moisturized skin. It's what's going to keep your skin supple. It's what's going to, like right now, I'm breaking out a little bit. I have a little bit of redness today. Um, it, applying the moisturizer, specifically the rose milk, because rose oil helps with redness and breakouts and all that. Um, is that you want it to actually be in your skin and not affected. So if I were to apply foundation right now, I'd just be mixing the foundation with the with the um, moisturizer, and I wouldn't have the uh, the best barrier between my skin and um, the moisturizer. So or sorry, my skin and the foundation and any other makeup I'm gonna wear today. So I'm just gonna show you guys um, how you would do that. So every um, Every one of these, the, the setting sprays will usually come with, or sorry, setting powders will come with something like this. And I'm just using a Laura Mercier um, translucent setting pow powder. This is the one that is not so matte because I don't really like matte um, looks. It's just my personal preference. Um, and so what you'll do is you'll go like this and you'll just carefully apply it like this. And don't worry if it looks a little bit white because you're going to come through with a powder brush and go ahead and wipe all the excess powder away. So all you're really doing right now is just making sure that your moisturizer is in your skin. And this is so great if you're using my moisturizers because my moisturizers, not only do they moisturize the skin, but they also help prevent and heal acne and blemishes and redness. So it's very important that you get the most out of it. Okay, um, I just realized I don't have a powder brush next to me, so I'm gonna go grab one. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this little buff, buff brush from Benefit, and I'm just gonna swipe all the excess powder away. And so now what I have left is just a pretty, like, kind of, I guess, a good prep for when I apply my foundation um, and so I'll just show you guys how I apply my foundation and everything but I'm just loving this tip because um, now I can tell my customers a really good little trick for if they do want to use my moisturizers in the morning but they just don't like the way everything works um, with my moisturizer or they don't have the time to wait and let it absorb so this is just a great tip um, for them so I use well I cannot pronounce it it's the YSL Le Taint Touche Eclat. Okay, I know that's not right. I don't know. I'm really sorry. Um, and I'm just going to apply some to my hand. I love this um, one because it's so light and it has a really nice sort of dewy finish. And I'm using this Real Techniques um, stippling brush my friend gave it to me and I love it I'm just gonna apply it all over my skin I love this one if you guys don't really like heavy makeup because um, it really looks like natural skin um, I, I was tempted you know I was going on and off about buying it I've tried it a couple times in sample sizes from Sephora it's a little bit spendy, but I've spent money on foundation before, and I find that foundation is one of those things that I'm, I don't know, I, I would rather spend money on my foundation than anything else, because 
it is going on my face and I don't think that this product would break anyone out it's just so light and really pretty looking it looks like second skin and as you can see it's covered pretty much I had that little pimple right there and had a little well the kind of ending result of a pimple from yesterday two pimples from yesterday run one right there and one right there and it's pretty much all gone without being completely full coverage also you saw that I had redness in my cheeks and that's gone no need to um, color correct or any or anything um, and actually right here I'd probably stop here just for a regular day-to-day -day look I probably wouldn't do anything else um, but if you wanted you could always go through and set it with a powder I typically don't set my makeup with a powder just because um, I find that it does a little bit too much of the cakiness to me um, now that I'm looking in this light I wonder if this is too dark for me oh well summer is coming so um, okay. <laughs> um, I hope this was really helpful for you guys I I really hope this is helpful for any of you guys who purchased the, the moisturizer but were maybe surprised at how it was going to apply. Um, the reason why I don't call it lotion and why I call it face milk, citrus cream, or nourishing face cream is because it's really not a lotion. It's much more than a lotion. Um, I just always want to tell you guys that I know my products seem unconventional, um, but just because something's unconventional doesn't mean it, work, it doesn't work. Um, I feel like I am a walking example of how good skin care does lead to good skin. Um, I know that, as you guys saw, I don't have perfect skin, um, but like I said, I will do another video without makeup next week when my when I'm off my period and everything's a little bit better. Um, but generally, I mean, even even for being on my period, I'm pretty happy with the new products that I've been using. Um, the one product I've noticed that it's given me the biggest difference is the Skin Perfecting Nightly Treatment. Um, it's diminished a lot of my redness. I actually used to have, when I was younger, have a big problem with redness all through here. And it kind of always stuck with me, but it went away a little bit as I got older. But I still had it. And I noticed that when I started using the Skin Perfecting Treatment, um, it really went away. So... I don't know, I'm really happy with that product. I would really recommend it. Oh, and I want to show you guys this new, I probably don't need it right now because that Real Techniques brush really blends it in, but Sephora now sells a purple beauty blender because it is the color of the year and I just think that's adorable. It's so pastel-y and as you guys may or may not know, I love my pastels. Um, so it's super cute and I just want to show you guys this. Um, yeah, and that's all. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Um, I will do other videos if you want me to about just the different products that I have to go in more detail. I do have videos on the Skin Perfecting Mask and Skin Perfecting Treatment um, and I would really encourage you guys to watch them because they really did help my skin out a lot and they helped a lot of other people's skin out a lot. Um, a lot of my customers have ranted and raved about them so um, I don't know. I really hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial or it's not really a tutorial um, kind of like a little tip and trick and if you guys are interested it's Wayne Goss who um, I don't I don't do all the tips that he gives but the majority of his little tips and tricks or little information are pretty great he's pretty knowledgeable um, and I don't know yeah so thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and I'll put, put all the information on the bottom wow I'm really having challenges right now. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Okay.